Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this completely unplanned video. Mattel have just dropped over a hundred different images for future figures. This is a massive, massive video. Uh, we finally get to see the new packaging as well and it is incredible. It is so bold and like in your face. I really love it. I really love it. Um, we've got so much to go through that there is not time to wait. Uh, we have seen a lot of these figures before at San Diego Comic Con. Uh, these are packaging images. I think there's a few figures in here that we haven't seen as well. Uh, so there's loads to go through. We're going to start with Basic Series 102. Uh, this is going to be the first series uh, that has the new packaging. Uh, so here it is. Look, you can see it on screen right now. Uh, this is what the brand new packaging is going to look like. Uh, so it's white and red. Uh, as I said, you know, very in your face. Uh, the name is huge. Uh, like they've really made that bigger. Uh, they seem to have taken the corner away as well. Uh, so uh, it's got like a slight piece missing in the corner. Not really sure how I feel about that. I prefer it when they're like rectangle shaped boxes. Um, but still, this is very bold, very in your face. Uh, so overall, I think it's awesome. Uh, this is the Seth Rollins figure. Uh, kind of a Seth Rollins figure I don't think we ever really thought we were going to get. Uh, it's based on Thanos, I believe, uh, from the Avengers. It's his WrestleMania attire. Um, and that is a much anticipated figure. Slight close-up picture here of that figure. Uh, you can see that we seem to have got a little bit more kind of detail now on like the chest hair and the stomach hair. Uh, the true FX is really starting to come through on the basics. Um, so yeah, I, I, I do like it. Um, I think that it's a very solid figure. I still kind of feel like a bit of work is maybe needed on the torso. The torso just feels a little out of proportion. Um, not too sure why. There's just something not quite right with the basic torsos. Um, but I think the hair sculpt, the face scan, uh, the ring attire in particular, all absolutely awesome. Moving on, we've got Jeff Hardy. Uh, I would have liked a little bit more animation on the face of this Jeff Hardy. Um, but, you know, it's kind of cool that we're getting a Jeff Hardy basic uh, that's got the face paint. Uh, that's definitely going to please people. Certainly if you didn't get around to getting the awesome uh, Jeff Hardy Elite figure. I think it was Elite 67. Uh, so, yeah, this figure looking really, really cool. And again, little close-up image here. Not so sure about the hair sculpt on this one. I don't know what it is with the basics. There's there's always just something that niggles. There's always something that's not quite right for this. It might be the hair uh, and the fact it doesn't have that kind of more animated facial expression. Love the detail on it, though. I mean, I, these have drastically improved. Um, I, I love the fact you've got the tattoo on the hand, uh, the, the ear pieces as well. Um, so, yeah, there's there's a lot to admire. Uh, I'm certainly not hating. Uh, there's just always a couple of things I would love to tweak. Uh, moving on, we got Baron Corbin. Uh, and I actually think this one's really good. Uh, obviously, this is Baron Corbin from his uh, acting raw kind of GM days. Uh, he doesn't tend to wear this anymore. Um, but still, it is a lot more in line with what he looks like now with the shaved head. Um, and I think it's really cool. Love the tattoos on the arm, the kind of rolled up sleeves. It's a very different look for Corbin. Uh, I think the bottom half of this figure is a bit basic, but obviously they can't really do a great deal with the ring attire. That is what he wears. Uh, really, this figure is all about the top part of the body. Uh, and I think it looks, I think it looks great. Constable Baron Corbin written on the packaging as well. Next up, we got The Miz, and I really think The Miz face scans are getting better and better. Uh, I think the Elite that just came out, I think Elite Series 69, uh, is probably the best that I've seen. Uh, this basic doesn't look quite as good. 
Um, but it is right up there. I'd have to compare them, actually. It's so hard to look at this and try to remember what the Elite looks like. Um, but yeah, this is much, much better than what we've seen from the basic line. Uh, so uh, I think it's perfectly good figure. Uh, the final figure in this Series 102 is Drake Maverick. Uh, he comes in his Authors of Pain attire. Uh, you can get him in like a green camo attire. Uh, or he is in a black attire. Uh, he is the chase figure uh, for this series. Um, I think the black probably looks better. Uh, you could also use him in the shield then as well. Um, the green though I think looks awesome. I'm still a fan of the green. Uh, I think the face scan on it looks pretty cool. Um, love the hair sculpt face scan. I think it's okay. I think they can get better. Um, but I think this is perfectly fine considering it is his first time to line. So that is 102. Uh, I think it is a pretty good series. Um, there's uh, certainly some figures there that I'm interested in. Now we're going to move to Battle Pack 62. Uh, we got Rey Mysterio and Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, what's really exciting here is we've got the return of accessories. So we've got a United States Championship that's in this pack. And also, I love that ring attire for Ray. Uh, what's also very interesting is we are now getting the mohawk on Ray's uh, like mask. Uh, obviously, he's got all of the tattoo detail as well. Uh, Shinsuke, really good scan on him. Love the fact that we've got like black and red on the ring attire. I think both of these ring attires are brilliant. Um, it's great. I really do like that battle pack. I think that is a really solid battle pack. Also worth noting, look at the tattoo detail on the back of that Rey Mysterio. Absolutely brilliant. Next up, we got the Authors of Pain. Uh, these guys look brilliant. They both come with kendo sticks as well. Uh, love the fact on the front of their vests it says AOP. Uh, both the face scans on these are brilliant. These are some of the best looking uh, battle pack figures I've seen in a long, long time. Like both of them are absolutely bang on. Uh, so really do rate this pack. Kind of reminds me of like the Usos battle pack that came out quite a while ago. Uh, I think that was like one of the last battle packs that I thought was like absolutely incredible from a face scan point of view. Uh, I really liked the Sasha and Alexa battle pack. I think that's just historic. I think that's really important. Um, but this one, I, I just think this one is absolutely next level in regards of the quality. Uh, I think they've nailed it. So love that. Uh, and then, oh, I'm so excited about this, Andrade and Zelina Vega. This is going to be the first time we get Zelina Vega. You're getting an Andrade figure. You're getting a mask as well. His entrance mask is in there. Uh, Zelina comes with a little microphone as well. Um, oh, what is there not to like about this? Uh, this is such a great Battle Pack series. Uh, and i got to be honest, this is exactly what the Battle Packs needed uh, they needed some really big tag teams and duos to go into them. Um, like, we've had the Iconics, and that was fantastic. Uh, now we're getting AOP, Zelina Vega and Andrade. Um, really, really good time for the Battle Pack range. Uh, next up, we've got, uh, obviously, the Masters of the WWE Universe. Um, I think the jury is kind of still out on these. Uh, I think that there will be a big appeal, though, when the film comes out. I think that's really going to help drive sales. I think that's next year that that comes out. Uh, you can see Triple H, Evil School King of Kings. Uh, so we've got Triple H. Comes with a little magazine in there as well. Uh, you can see the packaging for it, which is really cool, really retro. Um, and I think the face scan on it actually looks really quite impressive. So, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, moving on, we've got the Ultimate Warrior, the heroic champion of WWE Turnia. <laughs> I mean, you've really got to know your Masters of the Universe to, I think, really get this. Um, so, I mean, I used to watch it as a kid, but it's been a long, long time. Uh, so the Ultimate Warrior one looks uh, 
Pretty cool. Uh, moving on, we got Finn Balor. He's called the Heroic Demon King. Um, and comes with, like, hand gauntlets. Of course, you get the uh, comic book in there as well, which looks pretty cool. Um, and then we've got Sting, the Mysterious Vigilante of Vengeance. Uh, again, he comes with his own little comic book, giving him a bit of a backstory. Um, and obviously you get those claws as well. So those are the four figures uh, that we've got. They're going to be uh, Series 1 and exclusive to Walmart. They come out this fall. Right, we've got just a few more to show you. The Elite Collection 2-packs. This is going to see AJ Styles and Finn Balor. Uh, obviously changeable hands with the two sweet hands. Um, and I think that Finn Balor looks really good. Uh, AJ Styles looks pretty normal, to tell the truth. Kind of uh, in line with what we've seen before. But a very, very solid figure. Um, and I really do like that uh, Finn Balor with the detail on the back. The two sweet hands. Um, and I love that big smiley face that he's got as well. Uh, looks like you are going to get, yeah, that swappable head. Uh, so you can have him as uh, the demon or you can swap the head over, uh, put the shirt on, and then you could have him as uh, normal Finn Balor. Um, so, yeah, really, really cool. There's going to be quite a few of those two packs on the way. I seem to recall uh, they're doing a Rey Mysterio Samoa Joe one in the future. Um, but I think that is an excellent one to start the two packs off with. Uh, Finn Balor and AJ Styles. And that is it, guys. I mean, wow, we've seen some fantastic figures. Uh, we've seen the new packaging. We got a glimpse at the Masters of the Universe. We had a look at the two packs. There was so much stuff in there. Uh, over a hundred different images. Um, so let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What is it that you're excited about? Um, and also, we've got a brand new horror action figure collection video uh, if you haven't seen it yet i know many of you have by now uh, but if you haven't seen it yet check it out because there are some awesome figures in that video i will put a link uh, up in a second awesome guys thanks a lot for watching and hopefully i'll see you again next time bye for now